Fungi's Foodies. Welcome to Fun Guy's Kitchen. I'm Fun Guy the Entertainer, and I'm going to be cooking for you today. Uh, we are going to try something from the pig's meat department pre done. This is going to be one of those, well, it's a halfway easy and halfway complicated. I know it sounds weird, but the main entree is going to be very easy because they did all the work for you. That's the cool thing about the section of the meat department right by the door going into the back thing is all the stuff that they have there is pre done. You just have to cook it. Um, what we have today is boneless, skinless, marinated chicken breast. We have lemon pepper uh, marinade and herb and garlic marinade. All you really need to do is cook a pasta dish or a potato dish and vegetables and put this in the oven and you have a whole meal. Uh, so what we what you need is a 13 by 9 pan, not the lasagna pan this time because it's only the four pieces. You can put aluminum foil in it, you can spray it. I actually did both. One of the things I learned about chicken breast a long time ago is sometimes the aluminum foil will stick to the bottom and if you get aluminum foil and a filling in your mouth not a pleasant experience uh, so I sprayed olive oil on the foil because you want a little bit of olive oil flavor in the meat anyway so we got these at the pig today they of course put this and marinated it and then it's all ready to go so you don't have to do much except put it in the pan so let's open this up Just like this. Then do the same with the other one. These are really, really big chicken breasts, so they just barely fit in the pan, but they do fit. Okay, now let me wash my fingers here real quick. If there's any extra juice, Pour it on top of the chicken in the pan. There was a little bit more on the uh, lemon pepper marinade, almost nothing on the herb garlic, but that's okay. So that's ready. And then cover it with another piece of aluminum foil. And I did it again. I forgot to say right off the bat, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay. This is it. Now all we have to do when the oven's preheated, it's almost there now, but uh, I'm, you know, uh, you stick it in the oven, set the timer for 25 minutes, and have your meat thermometer ready. Remember, cooking chicken, it has to be 165 degrees, but if you get, on chicken breast especially, if you get too much over that, if you start pushing at 175, the breast become very, very dry very quickly. So. Um, 165 uh, you know you see my thermometer I'll have it ready for once we do this so you set the timer for uh, 25 minutes to check it and go from there you will need stuff to go with this what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a um, boy it's hard to explain I found um, preg actually hang on a second. Show you. prego has an Italian sauce that's called Creamy vodka. I suppose I could do this way too. Creamy vodka. I want to try this. I'm going to take a bag of wide egg noodles, cook them up just plain noodles, heat this up in a pan, pour it over the noodles, and then put the chicken on top of the noodles. And then I'm going to have my, you know, famous uh, pan fried asparagus on the side. That's going to be the meal today. Really cool. But obviously, this show is about the chicken. When the pig, oh, don't forget. Piggy from Steinbrink's Piggly Wiggly. Um, they're the ones who, so, who uh, sponsor the show. We are looking for a cooking sponsor. Um, I'd like to try to get one of those uh, cast iron companies too, because uh, I want, I got a whole bunch of recipes that work so much better with cast iron. So uh, I'm working on that to see if we can't get that going. So, um, but basically put this in the oven, do the test and we'll go from there. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, Fun Guys Foodies, we're back. The timer's about ready to go off. I've already started getting my water hot um, in case the, the chicken's done already. Uh, I got my asparagus ready because the asparagus only takes 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a little bit more time on the chicken because they were big pieces of chicken. The normal cooking time is between 30 and 40 minutes, but since you don't want it overcooked, you pull it out at the 25 minutes to check the temperature. Um, so I've got everything ready to go to finish up my dinner. Um, so let's see the timer should be going off any second. Well, it's going off in 
40 seconds, so we'll take out because really 40 seconds isn't that big of a deal. So let's take this out. Remember, it's hot and it's going to steam a little bit. So when you open it up, make sure you're not leaning over the pan. Yeah, that does not look done. Not even close actually, so let's look at this. I have absolutely no idea how that could be 170 degrees when I'm still seeing pink chicken. Chicken should never be pink. Let's see what this one says. See, uh, this one's 181. Now this one's cold. This one's only 68 degrees. That is very confusing. All right, now if we do it this way, it's only 41. So like I said, I was pretty sure this was not done. So we're gonna put this back in here and it's gonna take at least another 15 minutes. This is gonna take the full 40 minutes, easy. So it's a good thing I didn't start my asparagus yet. So I'll cover this back up, put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes and we'll go from there. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey, fun guys, foodies. Uh, I actually pulled it out and tested it earlier and it still needed a few more minutes. So we ended up doing a total of 50 minutes on this chicken because it was so big. I'm pretty sure it's done now, so let's pull it out and see what it looks like. You can see I've got everything else ready already. Ah. All right. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better already. Let's see what we have here. Oops. I should know better than to take the gloves off. The pan does move. All right. This one's done. This is the biggest one. This is the one that I was nervous about. This one's now showing 179, so that's done. That one's done. And that one's done. So, our chicken is now done. So, once again, uh, Steinberg's Piggly Wiggly Meat Department has a section. It's literally like eight feet long, closest to the door that goes into the, into the um, back room there. And they have a whole bunch of pre-prepped meats which for people in a hurry, this is really easy. I, I boiled water, cooked noodles. I got the sauce in the pan here. And of course, you've seen this before. I didn't do the cheese this time, but there's my, aspar my asparagus. Everything is done. This is a real, you know, Lala, I did a little bit more work than I needed to um, because I made all this extra stuff. You could have just made um, a prepackaged pasta like a nor pasta that has the flavors in it eight minutes of boiling water and put the sauce in there put the chicken on it, and you're done it's that easy don't forget st patty's day is i think next weekend so if you are looking for a chance to win dinner for two and guest appearance on the show you've only got a week to do this so uh make sure you're subscribed get some friends to subscribe have them tell me through the comment box that you told them to subscribe you get more entries they get an entry dinner for two guest appearance on the show it's really awesome and it's a lot of fun all right so hope you enjoyed our meal today and i look forward to uh, seeing you next week i'm fun guy the entertainer cooking for you